Okay, the first part of your practical experiment is going to be taking your heart rate and your blood pressure. And all you need for this is a pulse oximeter and a digital blood pressure monitor. First things first, heart rate, which is going to be our subject. Okay, so all you do, you get your index finger, you pop it in and you'll get your oxygen saturation levels and your heart rate. And the second part is blood pressure. Take the cuff, slide it onto your arm and just a little bit above the elbow, pull it tight. It's nice and secure. Okay, so you can click the on button and then press the go button. And just remember to keep relaxed. The second part of your practical experiment is going to be measuring your respiratory sinus arrhythmia with the use of an ECG and we're going to show you the setup. You're going to start with an alcohol wipe. For this setup, we're going to be cleaning the areas of the skin to put the electrode pads on. So we're going to clean the right wrist and right and left ankles. And using your ECG pads, you're going to stick those to your right wrist and right and left ankles. I'm going to hook Rachel up to the ECG. We've got a positive, negative and earth electrode. The positive electrode is going to be going onto the right arm. The negative electrode onto the left leg. And the earth electrode onto the right leg. Now we're going to take some ECG recording, so we're going to click start. You can see an inverted ECG trace here because of our particular setup with the electrodes. I'm going to ask Rachel to give me a cue with her index finger when she's inspiring, she's going to lift it up, and when she's expiring, her, her finger will be back down on her lap. And I'm just going to write comments on the graph I for inspiration and E for expiration. We're now going to repeat the procedure, but Rachel's going to be breathing in for four seconds and out for four seconds with the use of a stopwatch. You'll be able to see a very pronounced respiratory sinus arrhythmia with this way of breathing in and out. So here I was expiring and then inspiring, and you can see the change between the QRS complexes being further apart to then being much closer together when I'm inspiring.